Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Last week, nearly a half dozen families were forced out of their homes by a fire at the Carl D. Perkins Apartments at Robinson Creek in Pike County. A week later, some of those families are still without a home. There was like five families that was non-livable, and we have caseworkers that follows up with families, and they do like a 24 or 48-hour calls. We just found out about one family that doesn't have a place to stay, but they had stayed last night with their, not before last, I'm sorry, with their brother, according to the caseworker's notes, and that this tonight they don't have a place to stay. Representatives from the Red Cross said the fire happened Wednesday and caseworkers have been working with those displaced ever since. The Shelby Valley Volunteer Fire Department responded to the incident, which was apparently triggered by a small kitchen fire in a seventh floor apartment. It's just a small fire on the stove. Turn the burners on, it had something sitting on the stove. Looks like it got maybe a plastic bowl or something. Lower level apartments sustain significant water damage, leaving some uninhabitable. Now the Red Cross is hoping those still displaced and still in need of help will contact them for available assistance. Since we initially was up there and gave them assistance, we've not been contacted back. And we have um, an emergency Red Cross number, we have a pipe phone number, we, our director has numbers, and they were all given numbers when we were there to contact if they need any assistance at all. But if they can, if they get this message or if Carl Perkins gets a hold of them, we can't promise them a house, we can't promise them rent or anything like that, but we can call around and see what we can do to help them. Calls to the Carl D. Perkins Apartments Parent Corporation seeking comment were not returned. EKB News was unable to independently verify whether there are any empty, livable apartments at the Carl D. Perkins high rise, but it was confirmed that there is a long waiting list for apartments at the complex. From Robinson Creek, Chris Anderson. EKB News.